Meghan and Harry's own Frogmoor Cottage in UK. Former Royal Chef Darren McGrady lived next door at Frogmore Stables from 1985 to 1993. The Queen's former chef Darren McGrady has revealed that Frogmore Cottage Prince Harry and Meghan's new country home used to serve as accommodation for junior chefs. Staff quarters were basic and a little bit run down, he tells exclusively. But once renovation work is complete, and the royal cottage could be big enough to house 12 bedrooms. Darren, who lived next door to the cottage at Frogmore Stables from 1985 to 1993, revealed. When I was there, Frogmore Cottage was split into five different homes. Staff accommodation was run by the Crown property so it was paid for by the government and they never really overspend. It was a fantastic location you're in the Queen's back garden but a little bit run down. If something wanted repairing it would just be repaired, it would never be replaced. The staff quarters were never the most luxurious so I can imagine there's a lot of work to be done to turn them into royal accommodation. Harry and Meghan's home may be called a cottage, but it's a cottage by royal standards. Frogmore Cottage used to house several junior chefs alongside the wives and children. There was an upstairs and a downstairs and it was equally divided between the chefs. It's a two-story, stucco-faced building. I'm sure it'll be put back together and brought back to its glory for Harry and Meghan. They would need to make a lot of changes though, absolutely. They could easily do 10, 12 bedrooms there and then add in all the extras the drawing rooms, the sitting rooms, the gym. Darren, author of Eating Royally Cookbook, worked for the Queen for 11 years before spending the next four with Princess Diana at Kensington Palace. The London residents may have had nicer accommodation, Darren's room was next to William and Harry's nursery. But living in the city really was like being in a goldfish bowl. At Kensington Palace, you have a tiny, tiny garden but after that you're in the goldfish bowl, said Darren. You're on the high street, it's not a great place for bringing up children. I honestly think that's why William and Kate decided they'd have a base in Norfolk where they can bring the children up before they went to school in London. Frogmore Cottage, in comparison, is located in the private home park. While Windsor Great Park is open to members of the public, Home Park is the Queen's private grounds. The Home Park is sort of the back entrance into Windsor Castle and that's where you have Frogmore Cottage. Frogmore House and Frogmore Stables, Darren explained. It's much more private than Kensington Palace. The Queen would put on her wellies and walk her dogs there. Harry and Meghan can walk their dogs, go anywhere in the park freely. While William and Harry used to shoot rabbits in the park to feed the Queen's corgis. It's unlikely the father-to-be will continue with this particular outdoor pursuit. But there's plenty on offer for Harry and Meghan, who are big fans of the outdoors. There's a nine-hole golf course in the grounds of the home park. 10 minutes away from Frogmore Cottage, said Darren. There's the mulberry walk with the mulberry trees, the chefs used to go and pick mulberries to make mulberry gin for Prince Philip. There's also a small farm there, the Prince Consort Farm, where I think they still keep a herd of Jersey cows, which were a gift to the Queen. There's the old ones at Airy which used to provide all the milk. Darren added, from the front lawn of Frogmore Cottage, you can sit and look across at the Royal Household Cricket Club and listen to the wood on below. Then you can sit in the back garden and look out onto Frogmore Gardens which is where Harry and Meghan had their evening wedding reception. You just walk five minutes up the hill for afternoon tea with Granny, with the Queen, at Windsor Castle. This residence would not have been available for them to occupy until the fourth quarter of 2020. As a result, Her Majesty the Queen offered the Duke and Duchess the use of Frogmore Cottage which was already undergoing mandated renovations, and would be available to move in before the birth of their son. According to the idea of the cottage in English architecture by Daniel Maudlin, Queen Charlotte had a second cottage, Frogmore Cottage. Within the grounds of Frogmore House, leased in 1790, that was a retreat for her and her unmarried daughters within Windsor Home Park. Queen Victoria reported lived there in 1875, and was less than pleased by the number of frogs found on the property, calling them quite dreadful. But the residence has also hosted non-royal tenants, American theologian Henry James Sr. lived there in the mid-1800s. Windsor is a very special place for their royal highnesses and they are grateful that their official residence will be on the estate. The statement also acknowledged that Meghan and Harry's offices will continue to be based at Kensington Palace.
Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.